Solid state batteries are a dream of the electric car world. Everybody's talking about it all the time. You hear the things, oh, it's gonna charge so fast, it's gonna be so light and blah, blah, blah. And when is it coming? We don't know. Let's say 2030 or something. And then some say it's coming this year and then nothing happens. And so it sounds like a pipe dream. But now a Finnish company called Donut, <laughs> Donut Labs, <laughs> I'm hungry. Um, they said they have the battery, a solid state battery usable right now. So let's get into it. If your company has electric cars as company cars, of course you want your employee to charge at home. It's cheaper for you and it's easier for the employee. Tronity has a software solution for you to know how much you have to pay your employee for charging at home. With the fleet manager you manage your employees and your cars. Tronity connects to the cars and knows exactly when the car is charging at home and how much. And then you get an easy monthly bill for your employee. If you want to know more there's a link in the description below. If you like this video it would be nice if you show it also and maybe subscribe to the channel as well so you don't miss a new one. On the CES in I think in Las Vegas am I right? Um, uh, Donut Lab presented this new battery and they say a lot of things nobody has seen the battery so that other people can test the battery but it's already in a vehicle that can move in a motorcycle but still so we don't know exactly if all the claims what they say is correct and if it really can deliver on what they say but it sounds extremely promising let's hope it's true by the way if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes i have a third youtube channel behind the battery where i'm vlogging so if i get a car what's happening with the car if there are any news and anything happening really awesome the most important thing is that they say the battery is scalable it can be used in a drone can be used in a little scooter or in a car and that's what we want the points are this they say an energy density of 400 watt hours per, uh, per kilogram Right now the numbers are around 300 to 320 uh, watt hours per kilogram. That means you can make a battery with the same weight that has more capacity and more range or you can make a lighter battery which is good for the consumption and then of good grace great for the environment another thing when it comes to the construction very very important it doesn't use lithium iron it uses they don't say what kind of materials but materials that are available everywhere they no don't no need for anything special everywhere in Europe and the United States batteries like this can be built this sounds also very great and with this when the no lithium in the battery is also extreme safety there's no fire hazard there's no problem if you crash which is also great another thing they say is the capacity when it comes to temperature right now lithium ion battery when it's extremely cold out and the battery is cold <coughs> you don't get access to the full capacity of the battery the same when the battery is extremely hot they say in their test this solid state battery at minus 30 degrees and at plus 100 degrees celsius um, they still have over 99 percent of the uh, of the capacity of this battery which would be really amazing that means in the arctic winter when the battery is really cold you still have your full capacity and most likely can still charge very well they say exceptional longevity up to hundred thousand cycles of charging a normal lithium battery has around a thousand um, or a bit more which is incredible and they also say extremely fast charging times they say up to five minutes to full charge i don't know what that means when you don't know capacity or a charger so for electric car this doesn't compute too well and they also say that you can charge to the 100 percent and leave it at 100 percent it's also no problem at all which is very very interesting the battery is already uh, uh, built into a motorcycle and they say that the motorcycle can charge with 150 kilowatt it has only a 3.2 kilowatt hour battery but the, the 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 battery is fully charged in less than 10 minutes for a three kilowatt hour battery that doesn't sound like 
much. But again, normally small batteries have to be charged with less power than a big battery. So we'll have to see once this is in a car. And if you want to support the channel, you can do that here on YouTube via channel membership. But you get also something for it. You get early access to new videos. And if there's something really important happening, you are the first to know. Of course, this sounds extremely interesting, but a lot of people said stuff a lot of times. I mean, the famous thing is Elon Musk when he says this comes next year, this comes in two years and nothing comes out. Um, we have to see, is this re really true or are there downsides that we don't know yet? So I don't know if there are problems when you do this and do this, then it doesn't work or whatever. So we have to see it in the car and then uh, it would be very interesting. What I'm very surprised about is, so when they say this battery is available right now, how did they not talk to electric car manufacturers a few months back? I mean, in six months ago that they, they talked to, I don't know, Tesla, Volkswagen or whatever, make a test car with a battery. We make you a battery, a 60 kilowatt hour battery, um, test it in your car, let's do the charging and everything. For me, it shows that they have a battery that works in a small size but maybe the big size is still not available yet or that their production is very low right now so it's not perfect and and very we know that from the industry especially technology you over promise and you say it very early but then to the point where it's usable for people that always takes a bit so again we have to wait till a real car is coming that says here is the data here is the car go drive test it this is how it is it's a great step but again, we have to be cautious and see what's happening. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Better Life One. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.